My name's Louise Wilson and I'm a director of Wagtail UK Limited and also Conservation Dogs. Uh, we train dogs for any type of specialist training, so whether it's drug detection, explosive detection, body detection, but for conservation dogs it's for scat, such as pine martin scat, which is faeces, as well as great crested newt detection and other type of wildlife. So a conservation dog is a dog that's involved in conservation, I put it as simple as that. It can be used to actually find living animals, so anything to, in New Zealand for example, you've got dogs to detect uh, the kiwi, so you've got things like that, but also for scat and research purposes, so anything that involves a normal surveying technique, whether it's bat carcasses or pine martin scats or any type of animal, a dog can be used for that. It's also really good for detecting invasive species, so that could even be plants as well, so if something needs to be found in conservation, a dog can be trained to find it. So today I've been invited, it was about a year ago we got booked in to come and do a demonstration and a presentation to all the students. It was to talk about actually the use of dogs, the skills of dogs and actually why we use dogs and how much more effective they can be from, to a human search team. Since 2011 when I set up Conservation Dogs I was really um, excited about the idea of dogs. In the States they've been using dogs for conservation since 93 and that's actually a viable method to use but in the UK we're a bit slow on picking it up. I think with the right training establishment and the right training and the right dog you can use dogs in any type of environment so the idea for conservation it's an exciting and pioneering way to use a dog for, for, for research but also it's a greener method so for example if I turn up with a conservation dog to search for great crested newts that's equivalent to 10 people turning up in 10 different vehicles to search for great crested newt and I think it's actually a greener method and for charities it's a very good way of them raising funds to help so you have a picture of a nice dog helping an endangered species it's actually a better way of raising funds. I think people should, from my point of view of being a student myself, to remember that there's more methods out there for search. It's not always down to human search methods. To me, a dog is non-biased, non-invasive method. People think dogs are more invasive in their environment than a human. That, that's incorrect. And I think people should be a bit more open-minded of the other options that are out there. And not just us as conservation. I'm not here just to market me, but the use of dogs throughout conservation and how that can help you find more out about animals.